people, random people that pop up. And you hear her saying she's drunk. After 30 years of law enforcement, I hadn't seen anything like this before. Well, a police officer used his personal Periscope account to find her location. She was arrested after failing several field sobriety tests. Police say that Beale is lucky to be alive and fortunate that no one was injured or killed during this incident. Hmm. Well, some men say they read Playboy just for the articles, you know, and now that might become more believable. The iconic magazine has announced it will no longer show photos of nude women in its print edition starting in March. Jeanette Reyes is live in Arlington with the story that's trending right now. Jeanette. Yeah, Larry, many of us never thought we'd see the day. This iconic magazine doing away with those nude images we're used to seeing tucked away inside of issues like this one, also wrapped up for the youngsters not to see. But, you know, it's even crazy to say now they're asking their models to cover up just a little bit. Now, the reason behind this is a little perplexing for some. Playboy says it wants to reach a younger audience, going elsewhere for those racy images like the Internet. Founder Hugh Hefner assuring everyone that everything outs will stay the same, including those hard hitting articles that really draw viewers and readers in the first place. Take a listen to some to how some people here reacted to the news. Well, I think that's a little disappointing. Um, you know, I, I think that they've had them for a while, so I don't know why they're just suddenly changing. Sure. I mean, I think it would show more respect to women, but um, I don't know if it would really get their target audience anymore. But I as a woman appreciate it. Probably a bad idea. They won't sell as much. That's what I think. <laughs> And, you know, obviously those reasons are varying there. But, Larry, this is really a business move. The circulation has really dropped dramatically since 1975 when the magazine had about 6 million subscribers. It's down to about 800,000. But a lot of people were honest enough to tell us they like the reason for the wrapper. So we'll see how this goes come March when they start out with this new business strategy. Back to you, Larry. Okay, Jeanette. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, certainly uh, images now on the Internet. Taking the place of uh, what was Hugh Hefner's dream 60 years ago. So, well, Alrighty. you want some sunshine? I'll, I'll toss that okay. to you. Let's, let's go That's to sunshine. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been nice, but the uh, the weather's going to turn a little more like October. It should be in a lot cooler weather that's coming here. Okay. And just maybe a couple sprinkles this evening, but yeah, it's all good. Okay. It's good. Let's jump into it, show you a time lapse. This is from uh, Imesville, from uh, Oakdale High School in southern sections of Montgomery County, or Frederick County, Maryland. And during the day, it has uh, really uh, been an interesting day to see how quickly the clouds and a few showers rolled through the area. Then once they moved out, we started to see some breaks in the overcast, the sunshine making to come back and I think we'll see quite a bit of sunshine through the afternoon and then later this evening we'll see what happens with the cold front maybe some areas might get a brief sprinkle but uh, more will not temperatures around the area now at midday 73 in Falls Church already 72 in Chevy Chase 68 in College Park 71 degrees now in Waldorf and uh, 70 degrees in Fort Washington the cloudiness during the morning it's been around we've seen it we see a little bit of a breeze too when this little area of showers went through this morning but as we get through the afternoon we see more and more breaks in the overcast and that's really going to point to, I think, a very comfortable afternoon. A little bit of a breeze out of the west. Temperatures should easily make it into the middle 70s. But later this afternoon, more clouds developing ahead of the actual cold front that is still across southeastern Ohio, extreme western Pennsylvania. When that comes through, maybe uh, dinner time hours, maybe a few areas might see a brief passing sprinkle or shower. But that's about it. It's picked up in our future cast here by 1 o'clock this afternoon. Still a few clouds in the area, but progressively through the afternoon, we break into more clear skies. On this uh, computer rendering, it does show some showers with the actual cold front coming through the mountains. But as we get through the evening, most of them kind of break up with only an isolated shower sprink sprinkled through about 730 quarter day tonight. Again, I think again, most people won't see much of anything with the cold front because of the time of day it's coming. Then we'll clear out later tonight and have a couple very pleasant days. It's just going to be a bit on the cool side. And then another cold front comes in Friday, an even stronger one. Some of the chilliest air we've seen in a long time is going to be here by this upcoming weekend. So otherwise, until then, enjoy this afternoon. 77 degrees. Uh, maybe that spotty shower late in the uh, afternoon, early evening. Otherwise, decreasing cloudiness for most areas through the afternoon and a comfortable breeze as we head through the day. And then for tomorrow, uh, we'll uh, start off with very cool temperatures through the overnight and early morning, 56 for an average wake up temperatures with a breeze out of the north and west. And then we look forward to the next couple of days, not as warm today, just barely near 70 tomorrow with sunshine and a breeze. And then as we get through the next seven days, see what happens here. Temperatures turn a little bit cooler through Thursday and Friday. And then when that next cold front goes through,